What is going on guys? Pardon my atrocious hair because it is a very rainy evening here at Nagashima Spa Land and this is actually one of the few parks that we got to stay at uh, while it, the, the sun came down, which is nice. So uh, the park has closed. Uh, I did not film the vlog in the park because it was a very busy day getting to all the rides and so I wanted to make sure that I had enough time to do everything. As you can see, it is still raining, but I still want to film my vlog and show you guys what this place looks at at night. Steel Dragon is so impressive. One thing you might not know about Nagashima Spa Land is it is a full on resort. It has a lot more to it than just the park and the water park. So I'm kind of kind of show you around it because I don't think a lot of people know about this. Look at this, there is a 7-Eleven right outside this place. Like Steel Dragon, 7-Eleven. So, Here's a tip, if you come here, I highly recommend, at some point, if you want cheap stuff, leave the park, they will give you a wristband, hold on, let me show you guys, so here's the wristband, right there, uh, no, it won't focus, but anyways, as you can see, uh, it was pink, and so you can leave and enter the park whenever you want, as long as you have that wristband on, so you can come here and get cheap food and cheap drinks, and it is a lot better than paying uh, the full price. So, here you have the main... This is not the main entrance. The main entrance is actually right under the first hill of Steel Dragon, which is really cool. But look, I mean, they are fully prepared for uh, everyone to come out here and uh, spend some time uh, in the resort as a whole. So here's your entrance. And we're going to get pretty close to Steel Dragon. and But it's not going to be in the way that you think. So over here, there is a mall. There is a full-on mall at Nagashima Spa Land. And the views that you get of Steel Dragon are incredible. So we're actually going to go and get some dinner here. And this is something we did last night as well after our day in the park. We had lunch there, but we didn't have dinner because we just came here afterwards. And it got me thinking, this would work really well at a lot of other parks. I can think of so many places that I think it would be so cool if there was a mall right next to uh, the major theme park. So here, I'll show you guys as we go up the escalator and look I mean Steel Dragon is just massive it's such a huge roller coaster look at this I actually I left the park earlier so I could just go and and film this ride but it is just incredible and look there's like shopping and stores and stuff it's insane I was thinking like Cedar Point would do so well with something like this it is insane so Anyways, I want to talk a little bit about how today went. So, as you can see, it was raining. It was not raining the entire day. However, it was raining a good chunk of the day. Um, the, it probably started around 1, so the first few hours were really the only time that we got in the park without rain. Despite that, most of the rides stayed open, and the key is most. We did not ride the Schwarzkopf shuttle loop, and the Ultra Twister was down all day. Luckily, I got the Ultra Twister yesterday, uh, so I didn't have to worry about that, but still it was a little disappointing that uh, Those rides weren't open, but like Steel Dragon stayed open. Hakuge was the only coaster that was left open at the end of the night Because eventually Steel Dragon even closed down, but um, Hakuge did not so I walked out of Nagashima day two with a total of seven rides on Hakuge, so I'm very satisfied with that. I got two on Steel Dragon one in the front one in the back uh, I'm pretty satisfied with that too. Uh, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to try both seats, which is nice because this is one of those parks that, you know, you can't really choose your seat. So here's our group. Hey, Chad, why don't you talk about how day two and Nagashima's gone? It's gone good. <laughs> As you can see right now, we're at a mall. Right I know, I was just telling him about that. Isn't this crazy? It's really weird. It's huge, too. Like, it's massive. It goes options. all the way down we there. Got lost. We're trying to find a restaurant right now. It's like impossible. I, yeah, it's so weird. I, I was telling Cedar Point, th this would be awesome if it they had cool. that. You know what's weird about this place? Is this is like a really high end mall. Like, the only yeah. shops are really expensive and like nice. Like Gucci, all that stuff. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty crazy. I don't know. It's Yeah. So, um,. Takeaways, I see you got some merch. Do you want to say what you bought? Yeah, sure. Um, well, okay, so it's wrapped up in Peter Rabbit. Uh, yeah, Peter Rabbit's the mascot here, which yeah. is kind of funny. So I got a shirt, I got like a uh, Hikuge shirt, and it's like a really low key shirt. It has a whale on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
on the side right here, so it's really low key, and I like the. Kind of they don't have a ton of merch here. It, I thought it was strange because their merch was kind of mixed in with like random non-park merch. Yeah, not there was a lot of like candies and chocolates. But which we saw at Fuji Q also. Yeah, that's kind of strange. I got two magnets too. So. Yeah, so they, they we did so we did get some stuff. Um, I got a white whale yesterday. Plus. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So that it, it was a real, uh, real cute. So, um, it's, I'd say today was successful. I think yesterday was kind of unanimously like we we liked yesterday a bit better, mainly because the weather. I'm glad we did yesterday. Yes, one hundred percent. We only had three hours, but we got a lot done. But yeah, one hundred percent. Would have felt pretty dumb if we didn't. Do that. If we yes, if we only had today. Uh, my opinion of the park would not be the same because yesterday was definitely the better day here. This is huge. This, I know we're still walking. We don't know where we're going. It's it's crazy. Uh, we're gonna go find a restaurant, but hope you enjoyed our first ever mall tour. <laughs> yeah, and of all places, here it is in Japan. Like we're casually like the vlog is filmed in this weird mall, like next to some roller coasters. It's insane. So we're gonna go find a restaurant because we're hungry. But hope you enjoyed seeing Steel Dragon. Look, there it is again, like in the middle of a mall. There's the world's longest roller coaster. It's crazy. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.